Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler here, and today I'm going to show you how to get TypeScript, um, autocomplete, and things like that while using the context bridge exposed in main world. So this is how we can expose specific functions and values inside of Electron in our renderer process so we don't have to use node integration because that's unsafe. So let me show you how to do it. Currently in my client.ts file, I have a api.get version. And this API, it says it can't find it. But if you remember just a couple seconds ago, we were exposing an object called API. So this should be available. We should be able to get access to it. But TypeScript doesn't know about it. So how do I get this error to go away? And then how can I eventually get the cores and the platform? So let me actually show you that. I'm going to open up uh, source and I'm going to create a new file called globals.d.ts. You can call this whatever you want as long as it has the .d.ts extension, this will work. So we're going to basically declare a namespace and we're going to call it API. So we're saying, hey, TypeScript, trust me, there's a namespace called API and let me tell you about it. So what do we know? We know that API, this namespace, has three values. It has a get version function, which returns a promise of type string. So how can we do that? Well, we can say it has a function called get version, which returns a promise of type string. And just like that, if you look, look at that. So we do, we're getting errors, but for a different region. See how it, it notices if I do API, dot get version we get autocomplete and it tells us it's a promise of type string and our error is because it's a promise so we have to await it so let's just do that and boom all of our errors go away and now if I were to come back into my app and um, click the button let me just show that yeah this didn't really change anything it just got rid of those errors and we click it we get our version now how can we get the other elements so I showed how to create a function in a namespace. What about like a constant value? Well, we can just do this. Constant cores is equal to of type number. And we can also say constant platform is equal to of type string. And just like that, if you look down here now in the client file, instead we can do like this, cores. And when I click dot, you'll see the autocomplete, or sorry, API dots, and we get cores. It knows it's a string, see? Or knows it's a number, sorry. And we can do dot to string. And then same here, we can do API dots. And it knows that platform exists, which is a string, so we don't have to convert it, see? And just like that, we now have the ability to declare um, type declarations inside of our Electron apps. So let me just restart it, show you it all works. Okay, so when I click this button, we get the version, 12 cores on my system, and the platform is Windows. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have any suggestions or have any comments and need help down below, please leave them in the comments section down below. Until next time, peace. Bye.